Good morning, student. How are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy, and I'm sure you all have enjoyed your Diwali holidays. Today we'll do Unit Sixteen of Grammar Starter Book. Do you ride a bicycle? Now we can see a question mark at the end of the sentence. So this is a question, and in this video you'll learn about simple present here. So questions. Now, student, in this video we'll learn how to make simple present questions. For which there will be short answer yes or no. So if we agree with the question, then we have to give the positive answer. And if we don't agree with the question, then we have to give the negative answer. So positive answer start with yes, and negative answer start with no. First we'll learn how to make question, then we'll learn how to write answers. So let's see the structure of making simple present question. So first we have to write do or does. Then we have to write the pronoun. Then we have to write the verb, and we have to put question mark at the end of the sentence. Now the question begin with do. If there is pronoun I, you, we, you, here you mean two or more than two people and they. And question begin with does. If there is pronoun he, she, it, or if there is singular noun. Now we'll see the positive answer. So if we agree with the question, then we have to give the positive answer. Positive answer start with yes. Then we have to put comma. Then we have to write the pronoun, and at the end we have to write do or does. So we write do for the pronoun you, I, we, they, same as we we learned earlier, and we write does with the pronoun he, she, it. Now we'll see the negative answer. So if we don't agree with the question, then we have to give the negative answer. अगर हम question से सहमत नहीं हैं, then we have to give the negative answer. So negative answer start with no. Then we have to put comma. Then we have to write the pronoun. And at the end we have to write don't or doesn't. Don't is the short form of do not, and doesn't is the short form of does not. Now the rule is same. We write don't for the pronoun I you. We, they, and we write doesn't for pronoun he, she, and it. Now we'll see the examples. First, do I ride a bicycle? This is a question. There can be two answer. If we agree with the question, there will be positive answer. Yes, you do. If we don't agree with the question, they have to give negative answer. No, you don't. Now we can see one more rule is there. If in question there is pronoun I. Then an answer we have to write you for both negative and positive answer. Now we'll see another question. Do you ride a bicycle? Positive answer yes I do. Negative answer no I don't. Again we can see if in question pronoun you is there, then an answer we have to write pronoun I for both negative and positive answer. So if in question me pronoun I is, then answer me you will be there. अगर क्वेश्चन में प्रोनाउन यू है तो आंसर में प्रोनाउन आई हो जाएगा ना विल सी क्वेश्चन बिगिनिंग विद डज डज ही राइड अ बाइसिकल पॉजिटिव आंसर यस ही डज नेगेटिव आंसर नो ही डजेंट डज शी राइड अ बाइसिकल पॉजिटिव आंसर यस शी डज नेगेटिव आंसर नो शी डजेंट डज इट राइड अ बाइसिकल पॉजिटिव आंसर यस इट डज नेगेटिव आंसर नो इट डजेंट so we can see there's no change in the pronoun he, she, it for both negative and positive answer. So he, she, and it will remain same for the question and for both negative and positive answers. Now we'll see the plural pronoun. Do we ride a bicycle? Positive answer yes, you do. Negative answer no, you don't. So we. If in question pronoun V is there, then this pronoun V is changed into U in the answer for both negative and positive. Do you ride a bicycle? Here U means two or more than two people. So in answer we have to change U into V. An answer will be positive answer. Yes, we do. Negative answer. No, we don't. Do they ride a bicycle? Positive answer. Yes, they do. Negative answer. No, they don't. So we can see there's no change in the pronoun he, she, it, and they, but pronoun I, you, we are changed in the answer. So we see how they are changed. So we can see 
singular pronoun I of the question changes into pronoun you in answer. And pro singular pronoun you of the question changes into pronoun I in the answer. Now we will check about plural pronoun. We changes into you and you changes into we in the answers. But there is no change in the pronoun he, she, it and they in the answers. So we have to remember this rule while solving the exercise. Now we will see another examples. So you have to see the picture then we have to give the answer. Question number one. Do you like burgers? We can see a boy eating a burger. So we have to give the positive answer. Yes, I do. Because we have to change pronoun you into I. So we change pronoun you into I and give the positive answer. Yes, I do. Does he ride a car? We can see a boy riding a bicycle. So we have to give the negative answer. No, he doesn't. Does she listen to music? We can see a girl listening to music. So we will give the positive answer. Yes, she does. Does it have wings? We can see there are no wings. So we have to give the negative answer. No, it doesn't. Do you read books? Here we can see two people are there. So we have to change you into we. And we can see two children holding books. We have to give the positive answer. Yes, we do. Do they go to the mountain? We can see people are sitting on the beach. So we have to give the negative answer. No, they don't. So we have to give a look at the picture and we have to give the answer according to the picture. Now we will do the exercise. 